Leadership Rally. I don't know, boys and girls. You think they heard us all the way to Ibarra Elementary, which is on the north side of town. Let's try that one more time. Are we ready? Okay, drum line, cheerleaders, here we go. Let's give a big round of applause to our Wildcat cheerleaders and drumline. And we do have a special appearance by the Wildcat. A big, big thank you. Boys and girls and staff members and parents, welcome to our leadership rally. We have Inspire, Navigate, Lead. Boys and girls, we know that Margot Elementary is an A-rated school. A big cheer for an A-rated school. And boys and girls, because you were very, very successful this past year, we had five stars. So Margot Elementary is not only an A-rated school, but also receiving five stars, five distinctions. So a big shout out for Margo Elementary. <laughs> and boys in here, we are boys and girls, we are here again today to not only show that we are going to be supporting higher education, but also that we are leaders. So we have all of fifth grade, fourth grade, third grade, second grade, first grade, kinder, and pre-K. So let's hear from our fifth graders. Fourth graders. Third graders. Second graders. First graders. Kindergarten and pre-K. All right, we have special performances, so at this time, we are ready to begin our show. Before we begin, uh, I just want to say a few words. I know there's been a lot going on with the Margo family lately. Uh, there's been some illnesses with some staff members, some family members, so we just want everyone to know that everyone, we have, we have them in our prayers, and we know that they'll be back to health pretty soon, and we wish them the best, and I know everyone's praying for them, so our, our prayers are with them. 
Margo Elementary, let's read this together. Inspire, navigate, and lead. One more time. Inspire, navigate, and lead. Your leadership day. You've been practicing leadership every day, whether you know it or not. But what's very important is that you learn something new every day. I had the opportunity back in the fall of 1995, a long time ago, just when you were a gleam in your daddy's eye. You weren't born yet. Had the opportunity to join my home away from home, and that was Margo Elementary. Had the opportunity uh, to begin my student teaching career there. Had a wonderful opportunity. I started off with Mrs. Margarita Gutierrez. I know she's in the crowd. Retired, she can't get away. Uh, and uh, you know, had a wonderful time. I remember coming from the university, that was Pan America, UTPA at the time. I said, I came in with a, a copy from school. I said, ma'am, I have to observe your class for a couple of weeks before I get involved. She said, nah, start teaching. I said, okay, okay, we're gonna get working right away. So thank you, Mrs. Gutierrez. I know you're out there for that wonderful opportunity. But guys, w just wanna share a few a few messages with you this morning. Uh, beginning in Margo, learned so much. I had the opportunity and the pleasure of being there for 12 years. 12 years as a teacher and as an assistant principal. Later on, I went as a principal at Sam Houston Elementary for nine years, and this is my second year as assistant superintendent for elementary. So. I have the pleasure and the opportunity of working with all elementaries at several, several students. It's a wonderful opportunity and I enjoy being here. But along the way, and I want to focus on that word navigate, that's part of our journey. All of you, all of us have a journey every day. We don't wake up just by accident. Waking up by accident is waking up without a plan. We have to wake up and prepare and say, how am I gonna get the best out of my day? Without that navigation, you ain't going anywhere. How many of you see that navigation on your vehicles? Yeah, it, you plug it in because you wanna get from one point to the other, correct? That's right. You touch screen, you put it on Google Maps. It's the same thing with life, boys and girls. There's a navigation tool with life. And if we don't prepare that navigation tool right now, guess what? We're going to end up somewhere where we don't know where we're going. So we got to have a plan in place. So one thing is important. I had three slides, so I'm not going to keep you here long because you have an exciting agenda. And you know what? It's very hard to come after these drum lines and the Wessico East. Let's give them another round of applause, please. Yeah. Is Ms. Letty, the sponsor, still in the crowd? If, she, if you are, if you left, great job. You always do a phenomenal job, Ms. Letty. Thank you for all you do. But one of the things is this. I wanted to start off with this one. Everyone you will ever meet knows something you don't. That's something that you have to keep in mind each and every day. One of the most important things for me when I started was I learn from everyone. You learn from everyone. You don't know everything, and just when you think you don't, you do, you don't know any, everything. Keep learning and learn from everyone. You have to be teachable, you have to be willing to learn, you have to be willing to unlearn, and you have to be willing to relearn. Because many times you're gonna do something that may not work for you, and you have to be ready to say, you know what, it's okay. I'm gonna do it this way because I'm learning. Okay, we're humans, we're gonna make mistakes. It's gonna happen, and it's okay. And you're gonna continue making them. So never stress on that, never stress on that. Next one, hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. 
That is so true. So, so true. One, one, that's something that I always look at. Always look at. I was in the room many times when I realized, man, that person is very smart. That person is very talented. They have this skill set. I wish I had that. The only way that I was going to compete was I had to work hard. I knew where my limits were, and I knew what I needed to do. Guess what? The most successful people in this world have 24 hours in one day. How many hours do we have? 24 hours. So they have the same amount of time to prepare, to work hard, to do what they need to do. And we have the same amount of time. So do the math. So when you see a talented person, you're going to see them working hard. Never feel that you cannot measure up to them. But you're going to say, I'm going to work hard, and I'm going to continue working, and I'm going to do my best, and I'm going to get there. They're not going to outwork me. Maybe smarter than me, but they're not going to outwork me. They're not going to outprepare me. Okay? Always believe in that. You can do what you want to do. Doesn't matter where you're at. The talent has to keep working, and those that you feel, I, need to, I know where I'm at, and I know what I need to do, you got to keep preparing. you got to keep working hard. Remember the 24-hour rule. You have the same number of hours as the most successful people in this world. So you have enough time to prepare as well as they do. There are three types of people in this world. Those who make things happen, those who watch things happen, and those who wonder what happened. That is so true in life. That is so true in life. This is something that you should have posted somewhere. At this point in your life, you need to start making a decision, and it's never too late. It's never too late to decide, where do I fall? Where do I fall there? Am I going to watch all the good things that are going on around me and say, wow, I wish I was there. I wish I could do that. Then guess what? You're watching things happen when you know you can make it happen. Then you ask yourself, you wake up one day, and as I said earlier, if you're waking up by accident without a plan, then you're wondering what happened. I got a 50 on my math test today. What happened? I wonder what happened. Preparation. Preparation wasn't there. The hard work wasn't as hard. Many factors, so the preparation. The last one, you make things happen. You find your purpose, you find what you want to do in life, and you go the rest of your natural life chasing that and decide what you want to do. Time is limited that we have. It goes by quick and you decide what you want to do. Be the person who makes things happen. And along the way, you're going to fail, and that's okay. That's okay. So we want to wish the students, all the staff, a wonderful school year. Thank you for the time for allowing me to speak this morning. Thank you to the counselors. Uh, Ms. Pettis contacted me last night. No, no, she contacted me a week ago on that and asked if I could come in. And I said, sure, I'll go by. Margo was my home away from home, and it always has a special place in my heart. And uh, to all the staff, to all the students, it's great seeing you. Before I leave, I want to I wanna hear a big cheer where the students next door at Central Middle School, they stop doing what they're doing because they're wondering where that noise is coming from. At the count of three, I want all of us to yell out, I am going to make things happen. Okay? At the count of three, as loud as you can. One, two, three. <laughs> Boys and girls, 
Great job. Best of luck this school year. Thank you, everyone. In a couple of years, that could be us performing for Margo's upcoming alumni. Now, for the big question, what are College Quarter Wednesdays all about? Well, it happens every Wednesday. Students and staff wear college shirts or the shirts we are wearing today to show our pride in one day going to college. Now, if we want to wear jeans with our shirts, we donate 25 cents, which will be collected and awarded at the end of the year to former Margo Elementary students, like the ones that we are about to hear from today. Our video presentation is by two of our former Margo Elementary students, Luis Longoria and Ava Perez. Hey, Margo Elementary. Hope everyone is doing well back home. Uh, first off, I want to send a big shout out to the best teachers, best students, and best staff in all of Wasico. A huge thank you to my Margo teachers, Ms. Dunn, Ms. Acero, Ms. Guerra, Ms. Hernandez, Ms. Garza, Ms. Olivares, Ms. Perez, Mr. Liat, and last but not least, my wonderful and beautiful mom, Ms. Longoria, for installing a love for learning and a strong work that thickened me. My lifelong dream of attending college is moving forward, thanks to the generous education scholarship that Margo Elementary awards. I am truly honored to be one of the recipients of the 2018 Margo Scholarship. Since being named one of the recipients of the Margo Scholarship, my dream is becoming a re reality at St. Edward's University. I have just begun my undergraduate career as a freshman at St. Edward's University in Austin. 
and I can already report that my academics are off to a first-rate start. My plans at this stage are to complete a major in, in business and management. Um, St. Edwards University offers some of the finest programs in the country, and I consider myself fortunate to be able to attend. Uh, every single week this, that students and staff donate a quarter or a couple of dollars makes all the difference in the lives of students, such as myself, in pursuing an advanced degree. With the Margot Scholarship, I have been able to cover some of the expenses with, that come with moving away to college. That includes buying shelves, towels, sheets, a laptop, books, microwave, and even a coffee maker to help with those late nights. My educational pursuit would not be possible without the generous support from scholarship sponsors like Margot Elementary. Thank you personally and I sincerely and sincerely for your generosity. Have a fantastic year and God bless. My name is Ava Perez and I am one of the recipients of the Margot Scholarship. I'm currently doing my first year here at the University of Texas at Austin, also known as the best university in the nation. I just wanted to take some time to say thank you to you, the students, for wearing jeans and pink quarters and maybe even giving a little more because it's going to students like me who once attended Margot Elementary and are now moving on to bigger and better things. So I encourage you to keep wearing jeans, keep on paying those quarters. Don't forget, boys and girls, bring your quarters and extra change on Wednesdays to help support our scholarships. Take it away, Drumline and Wesley Cheerleaders and Margot Cheerleaders. to you you're probably all like I'm not a leader you're talking to the wrong person and I'm all like I'm talking to you and you and you and you so listen up I think you're a leader and you don't even know it yet maybe you're like me you look in the mirror and you don't really see a leader you look and you just see a regular person a really good looking regular person but you you're a leader whether you're a kid or a grown-up you're way more than you might think you are. You're more than your problems and you're more than your mistakes. 
Somewhere inside, you're a leader. You might not have a cape or wear underwears outside your clothes. That's probably a good thing. You have everything right now to change the world. Everything you need to go to college and be even more awesome. Leaders are just ordinary people who've done extraordinary things. They inspire other people to be extraordinary. Kids can change the world, and grown-ups can change the world too. It will go a whole lot faster if we work together. Leaders are made when ordinary people like you and me decide to be extraordinary or extra, extra, extraordinary and go to college or university. Extra, 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 extraordinary. Uh, okay, that's too many extras. Ugh, here's what we're trying to say. If you want to be awesome, go to college and be extra, extra awesome. Absolutely, and Treat people awesome by following these 20 things we should all say more often. Number 20, and not just on Thanksgiving, every day. Number 19, and always remember to say, excuse me. Number, number 18, here's a surprise taco I brought for you because you're my friend. There will be more tacos and more happy people. This is a great idea. Taco for you, taco for you, taco for you. Number 17, it's okay to be the first person to say, I'm sorry. Number 16, I forgive you. Number 15, you can do it, but don't say it if it's something they can't do. Number 14, another thing that we should say more often is, I make mistakes too. Before you say something about the mistake somebody else made, take a look at your own mistakes. Number 13, always remember to say, please. Number 12, everything is gonna be okay. Number 11, aw, oh, you got me a taco too? You shouldn't have, buddy. Number 10, I don't know. I know a lot of people who need to say that. My sister, my brother. Number 9, you're so awesome, I named my dog after you. Wait, that could hurt somebody's feelings. I mean, boat. I named my boat after you. Wait, who even has a boat? You're so awesome, I legally changed my name to yours. Wait, that's super creepy. Just tell people they're awesome and mean it. Number eight. Hello, person I never met before. Here's a high five. Number seven. My sports team is not always the best sports team. It takes a big person to say that. Number six, nothing. Sometimes that's the best thing you could say. Number
number five. <laughs> that doesn't really mean anything, but it's just really funny. I disagree with you, but I still like you as a person who is a human being, and I would treat you this way, because if I didn't, it would make everything bad, and that's what lots of people do, and it's lame. It's okay to disagree, but it's not okay to be mean. Number three, sometimes you just gotta scream. Number two, life is tough, so are you. Sometimes we all gotta be reminded to keep going. Number one, something nice, anything. If you can't think of anything nice to say, you're not thinking hard enough. We got a bonus one for you, something we should all say more often. Let's all go to college and be leaders! Ready? Marco, on this side! Get up, get up, let's turn it up! Yeah, go! Purple, go! Purple, Marco, on this side! Get up, get up, let's turn it up! Once again, boys and girls, remember the 25 cent Wednesdays, they are college quarter days. Boys and girls, we encourage you to bring your quarters. You can wear the jeans with the new shirts that you received today. We are promoting higher education, making you all into successful leaders.